Now we know that sine x differentiates to cosine x, cosine x differentiates to minus sine, minus sine differentiates to minus cosine, and minus cosine differentiates to sine. And we have this kind of periodic sequence. Um, now, it would be nice if there was a similar sequence uh, for shine and cosh. So let's see what happens when we differentiate them. So shine is, if you remember, e to the x, take away e to the minus x over 2. So when we differentiate this, e to the x differentiates to itself. E to the minus x, the minus sign is going to come down to the front using the chain rule and multiply to the minus sign there. So we get plus e to the minus x, and that's still going to be over 2. So actually, y equals shine x differentiates to cosh x. OK, well, that's brilliant. That's easy to remember. Now, if we do the same with y equals cosh x, this is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. And when we differentiate that, e to the x differentiates to itself. e to the minus x differentiates to minus e to the minus x. And that's still going to be over 2. And conveniently, that is shine of x. So we know, then, that shine differentiates to cosh. Cosh differentiates to shine. And so... That means we can very easily differentiate and integrate with these hyperbolic functions.